What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. Happy Friday. Now, Pete, I want to get up and get this video out to you guys as early as possible because, again, again, we know tomorrow we got the drop on the Air Jordan 6 Olympics. Now, generally, Army, when it comes to a sneaker that's dropping the next day and how it's been for like the last, I'll say, Army, the last year or two, soon as we get to the day before the sneaker is actually supposed to drop, these joints are less than retail. Less than retail. Now, the Olympic Sixes, they were busting for a minute. And then as soon as the pairs hit the street, they went down. Now, tomorrow again is the release day, Army. And like a size 14 is 242. Size 13 is 215. Size 12 is 206. Now, Pete, these is big size. 11 and a half, 217. Size 11 is dang near retail. 10 and a half, fair retail. So that's showing me that at least tomorrow, if these sizes sell out, they're going to at least still be at retail or start creeping back up. I feel like it's going to be the same thing with the wet fours, Army. Same thing with the wet fours. As far as they're going to seem like they're going to sell out, they might pop back up with restocks. But, again, it's back to school time. That navy and white go on all, this, <laughs> all of the kid uniforms, Army. So, again, if you want these joints... My mother-in-law called me yesterday while I was at the mall trying to get my phone fixed, Army. And she was like, oh, you know, I got a couple guys who looking for these Air... She called them the, the Air Jordan Olympics. I'm like, dang. I'm like, first off, how you even know about these? But even getting calls from her about her friends wanting these. These ain't going to be one of those three, $400 at the release. But they going to slowly creep away, Army. Just letting y'all know. Just letting y'all know. So I did put in for my FLX. I don't know if Dick Sporting Good did anything with these. I'm hearing DTLR hasn't been doing raffles in the minute, Army. So you still got time for FLX. I want to say the pre-order as far as on JD Sport finish line is over with. Now, I'm sure tomorrow they're going to have first come, first serve as far as the storage. But we'll see, Army. We will be going live for these, and we're going to see what's to it. I don't even know how many pairs dropping on Sneakers app. They ain't do no sneaker pads, but again, I uh, see y'all in the morning for these joints, Army. But while we are here this morning, Army, I need y'all to smash that thumbs up for your boy. And I need y'all to subscribe to the channel because, Army, things are about to start picking up. This is that time we've been waiting for. We already knew May, June, July was eh, hit or miss. August, September, October, November, December, January, February, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> we've got two... Two, three months of just, you know, and eh, hit or miss. And then we got like six, seven months of just bangers, y'all. So I hope y'all ready. But, Army, while we on the topic of just, you know, bangers and stuff, man, I know y'all been seeing. And every year, Army, we deal with the same rumors, you know, regarding this. But I still want to do this video. I know EU always get the love when it comes to this, but my boy Jeff, he been having his ears to the street. And I can't say that, Army, this is 100% gonna happen. But he hit me up and just like, break. I don't know, bro. I'm hearing that US might get blessed with some of these joints as well. Now, maybe the US get blessed because, you know, we, you know, we kind of killing it in the Olympics right now. I don't know if y'all been peeping the Olympics, but Sneaker Day. Last year for Sneaker Day, we know what happened, yo. Big Goose Egg, Zero, Gilbert Arenas, Sub-Zero. Like, these are all Zeros, Army. What's one time Zero? Zero. We got Zero goodness for Sneaker Day last year. Army, I don't even remember none of the stuff that dropped for Sneaker Day last year. All I remember is September, we were celebrating Snipe's birthday in Cancun last year. And I want to say I did, like, a quick little video while we was out there on Sneaker Day, but that was in September. But... We ain't get none of that good stuff, Army. But this year for Sneaker Day, it says a preview of this year's upcoming Sneaker Day returning on August 8th. Now, again, last year, the EU got blessed. And these are some of the sneakers that they are saying that should potentially drop for Sneaker Day. Again, Army, none of this is 100% solidified. I still feel like the U.S. is going to get some way, somehow short-ended. You know, on this, and this is a legit question, Army. When was the last time we had a good sneakers day? I can't even tell your Army, but some of the shoes that they got on this list, first off is the Air Jordan 1 Trophy Room Low Away. Did those even drop on sneakers app? And if they did drop on sneakers app, Army, it probably was 
a small amount. Now, I honestly can believe that it's still some of these trophy room lows, rookie cards. I, I, I do feel like it's still some of these out here. I feel like there's some home pairs out here, but we're not going to see them home pairs. It'll, but I can't even see them drop and see. This is the thing, Army. It's so much good stuff that I just feel like no matter how much Nike is trying to get everything back up, no matter how much Nike is in a bag, I can't see them doing this. Even though it's been dry and even though I'm sure they have all of these still in stock, it's tough for me to say they going to drop these. Also, the Aaron Jordan one lost and found. How long has it been since we've been waiting on a legit restock for the lost and founds in the States? Again, we got the first drop, which was terrible. We got the second drop, which was the restock, which was terrible. And then that was it. And mind you, these dropped two years ago. And mind you, Nike never sells out. And mind you, I guarantee you that Nike still got, I guarantee you they still got some lost and founds. Because most of the restocks on the lost and founds were EU. EU been eating. Like these last couple years, EU been getting all of the good stuff, Army. But again, it's been dry over here in the States. So I'm 50. Actually, I'm more like 85-15, y'all. Dang near 90-10 that we ain't going to get none of this. But again, never say never, especially with what Nike is doing. We also got the Nike... Air Jordan, one, low, Travis Scott, the olive joints. Black olives, women's exclusive. I know we got the other olive joints dropping in September as well. Maybe they trying to get rid of these joints. We also got the Canaries. Canary yellow, Air Jordan, one, low, Travis Scott's. Got both of them, Army. Don't, need a, don't necessarily need a double up. Last night, I was going through, you know, my personal collection, Army, and my Air Jordan 4 breads from 2019, put them to the side, Army. All my OG double ups, my cool grays, put them to the side, Army, getting rid of them. It's just, I don't need all these joints no more, bro. Air Jordan 4 military blues. They've been dropping here and there. They might be almost done with these. And eventually, these joints will probably start creeping back up as well, because I've been noticing a lot of restocks on the Air Jordan 4 Military Blues. You got the Haritos. To me, since the Chunky Dunkies, this has been that Nike SB Dunk. This year, as far as Nike SB Dunk, <sighs> sleeping, man. Nike SB Dunks ain't really dropped no bangers so far this year. I know they got the Verde joints that's supposed to be dropping soon, and those might be the ones that Nike is actually waiting for surprisingly army and i'm not even really going to talk about this colorway but they do got the mocha jumpman jacks on here as far as something that we may be getting for sneaker day but i ain't gonna hold y'all that black and mocha pair that pair is vicious army i ain't even gonna lie that one and that all red pair he got those two pairs i'm looking like dang bro like i don't know like <laughs> I, <laughs> I know i talked a lot of crap about that shoe i know travis scott team hit me up for the sale mocha you know Jumpman jackson that ain't work out i know it ain't work out but bruh i ain't gonna hold you like that that black and mocha pair and that all red pair i don't know man them joints is looking nice i can't even hold you army and low-key my favorite one on this list is the air jordan 4 sbs the pine green joints i feel like that is the best sneaker that's on this list and out of all of them on this list, Army, y'all let me know which one y'all rocking with the most. I feel like the majority of y'all probably will say the SB4s. And on top of that, Army, y'all already know, we got two new colorways in the Air Jordan 4 SBs dropping next year. Like, I honestly don't know how we gonna prep and plan for next year. I don't, Army. I don't. As y'all sneaker advisors sometimes, you know what I'm saying, Army, you also got Arbit. You got the Arbor app to help you guys predict these market values so that way y'all not, you know, overspending on some of these shoes. But I don't know what we're going to do next year, man. We got so much stuff. And again, I kind of touched upon this yesterday as far as Nike taking that $25 billion L. So again, is this the reason why Nike going so crazy as far as, you know, unlocking a vault? Is this going to be a way for them to get all this bread back? You know, I, I made a post about it yesterday and a lot of people saying like Nike need to be more innovative. Nike need to lower the price of these Air Jordans. They need to lower the price of Air Force Ones. 
They need to lower the price of dunks. Like, Nike, Nike been on some stuff, man. Ever since that VP, you know, got in trouble, it just seemed like all Nike been caring about is getting their licks back, bro. We need to get all this bread back from the resellers. We need to get all this bread back from shoes that ain't been selling. We got to get our lick back by increasing the price of pretty much all of the popular shoes. All of the popular shoes got a price increase. Jordans, Air Force One, Dunks, all the urban joints that we like, their price increase, but it's been the same stuff. The quality ain't been the best. So I understand why they took that $25 billion L Army, but you know, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section as well, man. And again, let me know how y'all feel about Sneaker Day. I still feel like this is 90-10 Army. Take this with a grain of salt. You know, this is what, six days away? And now they did do like a little, you know, promotion video. But where was this at? You know, let me let me check our sneakers app and see if we see it on our sneakers app. Because if we don't see it on the U.S. sneakers app, it, it's, it's honestly no reason for us to even be. I forgot they got these grandma driveways dropping soon, Army. Don't forget, we will be going live for those. Like, Muggs really been on these Nigels ever since they seen how limited the first pair was now i guarantee you this next one is going it's going to move like hotcakes people miss their opportunity but then again that was kind of on sneakers app bro like we thought that those joints were going to be a worldwide drop at least we expected it to be like they didn't come out and just say like these is going to be limited to these locations that night you pop up at the communication nike we need to get better communication so people can know exactly what to do because again like it was one spot in Chicago had pairs for three fifty. Now them joined six hundred dollars. Not saying that I would have paid the three fifty army because I said it's retailer bus, but I could have been like army. It's a spot in Chicago got pairs for three fifty. You know what I'm saying? Most people are like, oh, that's too much. True, because retail is one fifty, but I guarantee you, a lot of people would have picked that three fifty price tag over trying to pay dang near five fifty six hundred dollars on these joints now. Yeah, Nike, we got to work on that communication again. Yeah, Army, I'm scrolling on Sneakers US, and I ain't seeing none of that. So, again, Army, we don't know what Nike got planned up their sleeve. Maybe they can hit us with some shock drops on Sneakers Day. Maybe we get a couple of these shoes. Maybe we get nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just putting this information out there. My EU people, my boy Abraham, bro, let me know if y'all see, like, the whole Sneakers Day promotion going on on Sneakers EU app. If that's the case, then we know what time it is. But then also, if that's the case, Nike, what's up? Why we ain't getting none of this love? It's been dumb dry on the sneakers app. And I'm sure y'all have seen that the activity on the sneakers app has gone down. So this would be something great. Even if y'all give us a small amount of the pairs, give us something. We ain't getting nothing last year. You know what I'm saying? It's like Nike want us to spend our money. But when it comes to like these drops like this, where people actually want these shoes, y'all not giving it to us. Make it make sense. Make the customers happy. So let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section below, Army. Let me know how y'all feel about Sneakers Day. Again, Army, I'm not saying we get in this. Again, I feel like it's 10% chance, maybe even less, that we get this. But I still want to put that information out to y'all. I ain't trying to hold y'all. I ain't trying to be like, Army, this is happening. Like, get ready for Sneakers Day US. Like, get ready for it. It's, it's happening. Nah, I ain't trying to give y'all that energy, Army. I'm like, it's a slim possibility. I've been hearing a couple people say, yeah, we might get some, but it's Slim Army. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section below. Hit that like button before y'all get out of here. Subscribe if y'all haven't already, Army. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. What not going down next week, Army? So, premise link is in the description section below. Rejuvenator, RB, Unbox App, Army. So, steals. All of that is down there for you guys. Army, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. You got your boy, Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army since strong, like always. Most importantly, Hug your loved ones and of course remain humble. And we out. I hit a brickable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. He was old him first season. The most beefy looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.